this kind I feel that this kind of leader hindi ito yung mabait lang no hindi ito yung pagbibigyan ka lagi this kind of leader will push you to become better this kind of leader will motivate you to become a leader yourself um and key na nakita ko with a particular transformation leader that I had before is that he built a relationship on trust. He created a that I don't I, hindi ko kailangan mag sugarcoat I just have to be um, uh, truthful, honest and ano, he will understand or correct me if Kasi minsan, minsan, honest ka because you just gave up. Diba? Pero, this kind of leader will see yung kakayanan mo ka. And he will trust you. He will give you resources. He will give you what you need to get it done. Because he trusts that meron kang ibubugay. So, yeah. yun, yung, yun yung naramdaman ko nun. Nagkaroon yeah. ako ng pagkakataon na makita yung pag- ibubuga ko. Kasi he put me in a situation that, sabi mo nga, you can run through a wall. Yeah. He put me in a situation that ang laki ng chance ng success. Diba? And uh, and it's not all rosy. Diba? It's not all yeah. unicorns and rainbows in that process. You will be corrected, you will be hurt, you will, you will fail. Pero if you have this kind of leader, ang tingin niya doon are learnings. Those are tuition fee. No, for you sure. Where, where you will be headed. Yeah. Ano naman na ito? Yeah, sabi nga ni Tito Pao, it's not gonna be rainbows and unicorn, unicorns the whole time. But I think yung yung sa akin sa experience ko, parang with, with leadership and transformational leadership, parang we have a shared understanding that I have your best interest at heart. Whether that's good or bad, whether that's correcting you to become better, whether you know um, teaching you things or making you stay over time, parang alam namin dalawa na I got you, I got you. Um, parang shared understanding. Yeah, yeah. That in leadership, everybody has something to offer. Um, you might not see it um, 100% uh, initially, but lahat tayo, lahat, lahat tayo, we have something to offer. We have our own strengths. So as a leader, that's your job um, to find and cultivate their strengths, and then to double down or to to uh, um, improve their weaknesses and double down on on what they're on the things they're good at. Yeah. So thank you, Mandy, for sharing. Randy, on your point, Anita, in negative. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alala ko lang. Merong African saying that uh, if you wanna go far, fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. No. Uh, in the Philippines, it might. That's the siguro, That's one of our take. Take it with a grain of salt. It's not always. Uh, it's good na lagi democratic that everyone's on board. Because Filipino culture wants everyone na ane na parang ayon makahurt ng iba. Mm-hmm. They, they they want everyone to save face and. It may be slow. Yun ang problema na. When you're trying to lead and making everyone happy, medyo hindi mo magagawa ng mabilisan yun. Yeah. And, Pero and, kung na-cultivate mo yun at nagawa mo ng mabuti, you will go far and nothing can stop you. That's a positive side. To yeah. And, and to your point, Tito Pao, parang for toxic uh, Filipino culture, yung crab mentality, no? Like, when somebody gets over the top or somebody becomes a leader, sometimes they don't want to share or they don't want to bring people up with them because they think, you know, it's going to be detrimental to them or sisiraan lang sila or ingit lang sila. Parang yun yung toxic culture na ayaw natin, di ba? Just a quick disclaimer is it's not necessarily always negative. But I think something that we also did, uh, discussed in class with Ma'am um, Nana is how Filipino culture, we tend to be very non-confrontational. Mm. So sometimes we struggle to give people negative feedback. And I think that would uh, really um, affect 
our leadership style sometimes because sometimes we, we, we become that obstacle towards um, progress.